What's up guys, Dull Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Ill Will Press Foamy the Squirrel video. So this one we have Foamy Fan Mail. Uh, and this is by far the longest one so far. This is about two minutes long. So far all of these have been a a about a minute or under. Uh, so this one's almost twice as long. They do get longer. Some of the more recent ones I think are like five or ten minutes long. But anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Okay, this cartoon is going to be dedicated to your fan mail. That's right. I've been getting a lot of fan mail, and sometimes I feel the need to respond in kind to some of the nifty comments that I receive. I'm guessing most of these are from probably children from 20 years ago. So, like, people that'll be my age. So, let's start with this one. Dear Foamy, your last cartoon was disappointing. Yeah, I think you could do a lot better. Blah, blah, blah. Sign some schmuck. Wow, here's my response. Dear asshole. You can go fuck yourself because I don't give two shits what you think. If you got shot in the head today but you're by your own mother, I wouldn't care. I hope you don't have any children and each one of them has their throat slit and has their guts taken out of their own body and smeared down your throat. How do you like that? What I find disappointing is your lack of creative sentence structure within your email. You are a poor example of a human being. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. And please come again. Sincerely yours, your lord and master, Foamy. <laughs> Next letter. Dear Foamy, your cartoons are funny and I like that goth chick. Okay, well it's a short letter and I appreciate it nonetheless. Dear short letter writer, thank you for your kind words. I appreciate it, and I wish nothing bad on you. Thank you, and please come again. Signed, your lord and master, Foamy. <laughs> next letter. Woo, next letter, oh yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Dear Foamy, your stories are stupid, I don't like you, and how come the goth chick in your cartoons is never naked? Well, <laughs> dear cocksucker, you are... Man, I 100%, I, I can guarantee there's rule 34 of that girl. It, it's been around for 20 years. There's definitely some Rule 34 out there of her. You're a complete moron for the following reasons. One, you have no sense of humor. Two, you want to see a person naked who doesn't even really exist. It's just a few frames of animation. Are you out of your mind? Are you completely stupid? <laughs> Are you living in a complete fantasy land where all you want to see is naked cartoons? Are you But if only he knew where we would be today. Completely out of your mind. Sign sincerely, your lord and master, Foamy the Squirrel. All right, let's see. This one better be good. I'm getting sick of this. Dear Foamy. See, yeah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Naked, naked. Why does everyone want to see this? This woman naked, 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 naked. Naked, throw out, throw out. Burn, 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 burn. Dear Foamy, um, I live in a cave, and I still manage to see your cartoons through the interweb via satellite through my cell phone delivered by camel. This squirrel is so fucking funny. <laughs> Dear Cave Dweller, I appreciate that you like the cartoons and hope you find some... <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly, it wouldn't even be the wildest thing after we seeing what was on Osama Bin Laden's laptop if that was one of the things on there. Suitable habitat to dwell in. Thank you for your letter, your lord and master, Foamy. Uh, all right, you know what? I just, uh, okay, I'm done with this shit. You know, you, you, you people in your fan mail, it's just, you know, I can't please everybody, man. All right, just leave me alone. <laughs> oh, praise Allah, he's written back to me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> praise Allah, he's written back to me. Oh my god. That's good. I wonder if anyone's mad about those comments. Let's see, newest first. Shit posting before it became mainstream, yeah. Uh, surprisingly, no one complaining about Osama bin Laden. Very surprising because in the, in the other one, people were complaining that it was racist. It was actually kind of funny. It was only like comments from like the last eight years or so that were complaining about that. Everything before that, I just thought it was funny. You could like literally see the cultural shift in uh, in the comments on the last video that had a Muslim in it. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.